Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Recently, the American radio frequency manufacturer Echovax was forced to sell a company in China, indicating that it cannot compete with Chinese integrated circuit manufacturers because Chinese integrated circuit manufacturers have broken through the blockade of radio frequency integrated circuits, so they have to withdraw from China. Market 1. American chips once made a fortune. A few years ago, the United States banned American RF manufacturers from providing 5G RF chips to a Chinese mobile phone company. At that time, some American RF companies accounted for almost 90% of the world's high-frequency chips and made huge profits. Corvo's stock once soared six times. It is the golden age of the U.S. semiconductor industry. In addition to radio frequency chips, the United States has implemented a comprehensive blockade on analog chips and 5G mobile phone chips. Texas Instruments is the world's largest analog integrated circuit company. At that time, the price of Texas Instruments analog chips was also rising. Udazu once said that the price of a chip that originally cost 20 yuan, has now risen to 2,500 yuan. Really high. Qualcomm's high-end chips have been favored by major Chinese manufacturers. In the past two years, prices have been raised crazily. The highest top-end chip, has reached 160 US dollars a piece. This has made domestic manufacturers miserable and can only reduce the price to 69.99, otherwise you can't make any money. In recent years, the shipments of mobile phones, TVs and PCs have all declined. They should have been in short supply, but now, due to the monopoly of the United States, there has been a shortage of chips, which has led to an increase in chip prices. Due to the monopoly of chips, a large amount of money poured in, causing chip prices in the United States to rise steadily, making the United States the biggest winner. 2. China has broken through many blockades in the chip industry. A high-tech company in China is vigorously developing its own chips. According to reports, more than half of the mobile phone chips in the world have been developed by themselves. That is why the Nanowen project was launched with a year's scientific research expenses as high as 100,000 yuan. Hundreds of billions, constantly accelerating the development of chips. In addition, Huawei has also conducted extensive cooperation with China's chip industry and invested in a large number of chip companies. Chip companies including Zhuosheng Micro and We Technology are also constantly developing radio frequency chips and analog chips. Promoting the China's chip market has made great progress in radio frequency chips and analog chips. And in terms of memory chips, they also have the absolute upper hand. In 2016, several memory companies appeared in China and two companies. In 2022,
They developed the world's most advanced 232-layer flash memory. The second phase mass production has directly cut the price of memory chips to half. In August last year, a domestic 5G radio frequency chip was released, all using domestic 5G radio frequency chips. This also means that domestic 5G radio frequency chips will occupy 90% of the domestic market share, which will it will change the US monopoly on 5G radio frequency chips. 3. US chips are facing difficulties. Due to the release of 5G chips, Qualcomm has made the decision to significantly reduce the price of 5G chips and plans to continue to promote price reductions for mid to low end chips next year to maintain market share. Qualcomm was once the largest mobile device manufacturer in the world, but after the United States sanctioned Chinese mobile devices in 2019, Chinese mobile devices began to worry about the security of chips and began to reduce the use of Qualcomm products and switch to MediaTek products. It was not until 2020 that Qualcomm fell from the world's number one position and was replaced by MediaTek. The same is true for radio frequency chips and analog chips. Since last year, the U.S. chip market has been declining. Texas Instruments launched an analog chip. This analog chip is widely used in the domestic market and has now fallen to pieces. This is a very alarming drop. American RF manufacturers also tried to start a price war with Chinese RF manufacturers. As a result, because their production costs were too high, their revenue plummeted and their stocks fell by 80%. Now Corvo is selling its Chinese production base to LuxShare. From the end of last year to now, four companies in the United States have lost money. A Corvo factory in China was sold, and Western Digital sold itself to Japan's Kioxia which caused quite a stir in the United States. In the past, American companies bought Japanese companies, but now they have become the food of Japanese companies. In addition to targeting China's high-end chips, the United States has also recently said that it will control China's mature process chips to ensure U.S. chip profits. This is a very stupid behavior because the United States has already controlled China's high-end chips.